Hello guys, in this new tutorial of Xamarin Forms, today we're gonna see together how to download and open a PDF file. So, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more videos. Let's begin by creating a new folder called service in Android project in which we're gonna create a new service called Android Files Service. In the shared project, we're gonna create an interface for this services called file i file service. So in this interface, we're gonna define um, three things at the moment. So the storage directory, the download file, and it's take string, uh, the URL of file and the folder in which we're gonna save the folder, the file. And the last one is an event handler for um, manage uh, the undownloaded file. So that's why we're gonna create a model um, folder in which we're gonna create an event. So let's create download event args uh, that implements um, event args um, class. Let's define a property called file save it. It's equal to false by default. And this event args, it's used to um, transfer uh, some information for um, uh, the, the download file. So um, you can report the pro uh, progress of downloading, for example, um, you can downloading, the, uh, you can report um, the error uh, if we we has one, if we have one, cool. Now let's move to the Android file service, and in which we're gonna define um, the undownload file uh, method. So let's begin by creating a private method here called download uh, completed and in which we're gonna um, check if we have an error or not and if we save it uh, correctly uh, the file so if we have an error different from null so let's uh, check if the unfile downloaded event different from null so here we're gonna report that the file um, was not downloaded else we're gonna make um, on file download dot invoke uh, with an event uh, handler um, or event args with a, a true uh, tag. So the directory, the storage directory, it will be equal to application dot context dot get external file dear. So here we're gonna get the absolute um, application path. And inside the download file here, I'm gonna define the first of all here, uh, we're gonna define the path to the new folder. It would be equal to uh, path.combine the directory, the storage directory with the, the, um, the folder parameters. And after that, we're gonna create the directory. So directory.create directory will create the directory path uh, if uh, it, um, uh, it doesn't uh, exist. After that, we're gonna download the file. So uh, we're gonna use um, the web client. It's like HTTP client and we're gonna use um, an async completed event handler which um, takes um, downloaded completed event. After that, we're gonna create the path to new file. It's equal to the combine between the path to new folder and the name of file. And finally, let's call uh, web client.download file async which takes the URI and the path to the file. And let's put all this code between try catch. And if we have some exceptions here, we're gonna report um, download events to false. 
And finally, don't forget to make this um, class uh, like a service in which to use it in the shaded um, project. So I'm going to use the dependency attribute here. Cool. And we need just to import the great using. Cool. Let's move to the XAML page here and we're going to create a button for a download um, PDF file. And let's bind the command to download PDF file command. The next side in the view model here, we're going to create this command and change the title, title to uh, PDF file and assign this command to a new delegate command which takes um, a method called uh, download a pdf file great now let's make some dependency injection here so we're gonna uh, create um, the file service and it will be equal to dependency um, service dot get i file service cool and inside this download file pdf file we're gonna call a uh, file service dot download the file which takes the url and the folder uh, name in which we're gonna save um, our pdf file and finally uh, we're gonna check here if we uh, have uh, downloaded or not um, the file before that, don't forget to add some required uh, permissions like the read um, and write in external storage and the internet access. Cool. Let's run and see. So here, I'm gonna make some breakpoints. If you have an exception or if the downloaded completed event will be fired here so here we can see in the output we have some downloads here and if we see we don't have an error so the downloaded was completed great so now let's move to the XAML page and add a new button in order to um, open this downloaded PDF file. So let's create a new uh, command called open PDF file command. And in the constructor, we're gonna assign this to a new delegate command with a new private method called open PDF. Great. Now let's move to the iFiles uh, service and we need to uh, add a new uh, method signature called uh, OpenPDF which takes uh, the path to uh, this file. And let's define it in the Android project here. So the first thing we need to um, to get our extension of this uh, file, maybe it will be uh, a Word file. So here we're gonna get the extension, the extensions uh, using get file extension uh, from URL. After that, we're gonna get the mine type. So the mime type match dot singleton dot um, get mime type file from extension. And after that. We need to um, to get the context of the application. And, and now we're gonna build the URI for the file. So that's why we need something called file provider and Android an Android uh, project um, in order to um, access uh, a file on a storage uh, directory so we're gonna use file provider dot get URI for file which takes uh, the context um, and uh, the provider uh, path and the file path so the provider we're gonna define it uh, later in the Android project now we're going to create a new intent uh, type of action view 
And for this intent, we're gonna set data and type, which takes uh, the URI and uh, the MIME type. After that, we're gonna add the flag uh, type of a new task in order to open uh, this PDF file in a new application, uh, which can read, uh, can read, um, which can read a PDF file. And eventually we, we need to grant uh, read uh, URI permissions. Also, uh, maybe in your phone, you can get more than one PDF reader. That's why uh, we're gonna create a new intent here, type of create a chooser. And if you have more than one the PDF reader, so um, the Android uh, uh, system can um, propose to you uh, to choose uh, one reader here. Great. So now we're gonna call context.start uh, activity of intent and let's try put it in a try catch, um, which means if we have an exception here, we're gonna show toast. Uh, to say no application available to view PDF file. Okay, that's great. Now let's define the provider here. That's why we need to create a new directory uh, called uh, XML. And inside it, we're gonna create a provider um, path uh, file. Inside the, uh, the provider here, we're gonna define the external files uh, we can, the application can access to it. So here is the root of our um, application directory. And eventually don't forget to declare our provider in the manifest uh, file here. Cool. Now let's move to the view model here and Inside the open PDF file, we're gonna call um, eventually um, the file service dot um, open uh, PDF file. And we're gonna uh, need to build the path to a new file here and pass the parameter. So before that, we, we need, I think, uh, to change the name here to uh, something.pdf, like in the URL, and I think this uh, redirected URL. So we need to put the, the real uh, URL to the PDF file. Let's make, let's run and see. Here we're gonna download the file. So no error and let's open the file now. Now here we go, great. So here we have our PDF file. So let's try something cool. It's to deploy in a real device and see if we have uh, more than one PDF reader. So let's download the file. Great. So here we go, I think. Let's open the PDF file. So here we have a chooser. So we have more than one PDF reader. And they are the file. Thank you very much. See you next tutorial.